Good morning. Today is Father's Day. Traditionally, it's a day when fathers get a bit of special treatment and perhaps a card. It's not a day welcomed by everyone though. Those who have longed to be fathers, but it's just not worked out for them. Those whose experience of their father has been dark or not something they want to celebrate. Or a father who has lost a much loved child prematurely. And our hearts go out to those who may be finding today difficult. But there is something about fatherhood which we should cherish, at least as an ideal. The commitment of family, love, sacrifice, dedication and security. And although we recognise that fathers do not always live up to these aspirations, still we can celebrate the ideal that all fathers can at least aspire to them. I'm a father. And whilst I'll milk today for all I'm worth, I want to say something about what being a father means from my experience. It's been a huge blessing beyond anything I could have imagined. The feeling of a deep, unconditional and uncontrollable love that almost like magic you feel so deeply. Of course, there are tough times when you fall out, tell off and of course wish you had a bit of peace. But it's an all-consuming responsibility that worries you to death and fills you with life, with wonderful goodness, all at the same time. And even when things are tough, the love refuses to diminish. In those times it holds on tight, with grit born out of deep and mysterious affection. It's not all rosy and plain sailing, but that just confirms its glory. So perhaps on Father's Day, I want to say thank you to my children and of course my wife without whom this would not have been possible for being a father. One of the descriptions the Bible gives God is that of father. It is a description that has met with controversy in the modern world, not least because it suggests that God has a particular gender. But today on Father's Day, I want to say from my experience of being a father, we can have great confidence that God rejoices in us, wants what's best for us, and will leave no stone unturned, not even the one that tried to bar the way to the new life that Easter proclaims, to offer us in sacrificial love what we need to be fully and truly human and to fulfil his promises in us. Oh yeah, there'll be ups and downs, there will be disappointments, we will get things wrong, but his love for us will not diminish. In the tough times, he'll hold on to us tighter. In our wholeness, God is fulfilled. On Father's Day, in a time of uncertainty, I think that that is good news for all of us. And I hope you do too. So thank you for listening. Tang Nevis.